Go to the window menu and brushes, gradients and shapes, patterns, etc. All the presets. Now you've got the brushes panel, shapes panel, gradients. They all work in the same way with groups. Everything's grouped now. To remove them, well, I've got here gradients. I'm going to go with gradients. The same applies to brushes and shapes. Just expand all the various gradients. Now if you haven't got legacy gradients or legacy brushes, etc., go to the right side menu and go to legacy gradients and that will bring in all the old gradients. So now just select those gradients, select all of those and you can see you've got these blue lines around them. What you can do then, you can just drag it and you can see it just goes past the legacy gradients and then you got to the top and you can see that blue line at the top and release. Now they're all outside of the group structure. Now you can go to the next one, select that lot and then simply just drag that up above that legacy gradients and put it there. Now your gradients may be in a completely different state of groups, I don't know how it's structured. And you can just run through all of the legacy gradients, colour harmonies, expand that out and simply select that and you can continue to do that. Obviously it's manual, it's a manual process, there is no automatic one. It would be brilliant if Photoshop added an automatic function for that, but it's not. And you can simply select the others there and just drag it up again and you can build up a complete set of gradients all outside of the group. And likewise you can do exactly the same with the shape. So you simply select the shapes there and drag outside of the group and you see that line again and now they're outside and you can repeat that. So just go there to 2000 and, and conifer trees, expand that out and select those and just drag that out and just manually do it for all of them. However, once you've done that, of course you think, well, that's a lot of work and I want to save it all. So you can select all of the gradients, go all the way down every single gradient and then what you can do, just go to the right side menu and there's a command at the bottom, export selected gradients and you can export it to a GRD file. You can do the same with brushes as well as shapes as well, save it to the CSH format, etc. So that's it. All your presets are outside the groups. And of course, once you've done that, say you've selected all of them, done, moved it. I haven't done that, but clearly it will take a bit of time. You can select all of the groups. So all the groups, once they've been, of course, you've moved them. You can then just go right to the bottom and you can delete the whole lot. And then you're just left with your old structure of gradients as before. And then you can simply use them as normal. So how do you find this? Do you find this an easy way to do it? Do you like groups? I must admit, I have no problem with groups. I'm quite often setting up group structures, this and that, though I often put them in the wrong groups and have to keep moving them around. So it'd be great some comments just about, do you use them? Do you find them easy to use? Do you really hate the feature? Or loads of other things about gradients and presets, anything like that, please let me know. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.